Hey everybody, Pod Gaming here. If you haven't noticed already, Theme Mixer 2 is now available on the workshop. It's a complete remake of the original Theme Mixer mod, and boy does it have some great new features. So let's go through those features together. But first you need to jump onto the workshop and search for Theme Mixer 2. Enter into the content manager and switch on the mod. Once that's done, you can load the game. Once loaded, you'll notice the icon for Theme Mixer will appear. You can place this wherever you like by holding down the right button on top of the icon and dragging around. Now if you click on that icon, you'll bring up a new fancy menu system. This is now in-game and far easier to navigate. Let's start with themes. So themes, as it clearly states, you can just switch between themes in-game. So this is just switching from the themes you download from the workshop directly in-game. There's also a favourite system. If you left click on a favourite star, that will push it right to the top of the list. Right click on the star will go to the bottom. Next up is Terrain. This is a much more advanced version than what was in the previous theme mixer. You can either select a whole theme to cover all of these textures by clicking here, or you can pick and choose amongst your themes you've got from the workshop and select them individually. But not only that, you can also change the texture tiling amount to really change the look of certain themes. This really does open up the opportunity to make your theme mixer something special and very unique to your own build. You can also change the fertility, forest, pollution and field colours by using the RGB settings here to make some very wild and unusual looking themes. Up next is water. So here we can change the type of water, the water foam, and again in the same capacity we can click on and change the theme whilst playing and switch between the types that we wish. Another really cool feature about the water section is the fact you can now click on the colour palette of the water, underwater and polluted water and change it in game. So here we can see we can just drag along and the water colour changes as we play. This is really really useful. Not only that but if you decide you wanted to have a different type of sea for a certain screenshot or perhaps a different build you can save the actual colour settings, label it and then come back to it later. One tip for good water is to try and match the underwater colour to the sand or other shore colour. Then you can change the water colour to whichever colour you want. Up next is structures. And what we can do here is we can change the texture of the road from one theme to another. So too with the base of a building's texture as well. So as we have done previously, do it exactly the same way by clicking on the theme icon and selecting a theme you wish to choose. Very simple, but yet very effective. Next up is Atmosphere. This allows you to change the longitude, latitude, the size of the sun, the exposure, the rays, the star intensity and many, many other features. However, please know that if you are using the cube map replacer, you will not be able to see much going on at all. You'll have to disable this to really benefit from this part of the mod. Next up is weather. So this is something more in terms of the simulation of the game. So you can change the probability of rain, fog and the temperatures. And last but not least is the most important one in my opinion, it's mixes. Now there's no point creating all these beautiful theme mixes if you can't save them after. This is where you do so. So think of a suitable file name, click on it and click save. Once this is saved, you've now got this as part of your mix selection. This now means that you can switch between mixes very quickly and efficiently, especially good if you're working on more than one project. It's also possible to upload these theme mixes to the workshop to share to your friends. To do so, please follow my how to create share theme mixes and click the link at the top of the screen or in the description below. So that covers the main focus on the new features for theme mixer. I'd like to take this moment to thank TPB for his hard work on developing this new version of theme mixer. But that's it from me. I hope this video has been of some assistance to you. Happy theme mixing and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, all the best.